how's everyone doing? This is Steven. I am back for another tutorial. Um, sorry it's been a while since I've been back, but uh, I've been, you know, working, I've been doing a little freelance, I've been uh, working on my thesis, and I've been out uh, trying to hunt for a real job so I can make lots and lots and lots of money. Um, so time is one thing I have not got, so I figured, you know, since I have a little extra time, I, you know, I'll do a little tutorial here for you guys. And what this tutorial is, if you look at the screen, you see this little twirly thing here. Uh, this is going to be our project, and we're going to use expressions, uh, After Effects expressions, to actually create this uh, uh, hippie, new age, swirly, optical illusion type thingy. Um, it's 90% expressions, no keyframes. And uh, yeah, I hope you learn, guys learn something out uh, because I'm going to explain you know some of the basic expressions and stuff like that. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is uh, create a new new composition. And down in the co composition workspace, I'm going to right click, go to new, and I'm going to select null object. And that's going to hold our um, expression controls, which we're going to be using. And we're going to hit right click, go to new again, new solid. And I'm going to keep the width at 1024 height, 1024 uh, square size, and we'll leave it at white. Hit OK. And the reason I'm keeping square is because our end, end product is going to be an actual circle. And so we want to have everything nice and even so when we apply our final effect, it creates a circle. If you do this at like 1024 by 720, uh, you're going to have something that's oblong. Might be something you'd be interested in checking into, but uh, not for this. I'm not going to do it for this project. Now the first thing I want to do is um, a little bit of uh, expression work. Is I want to be able to scale this thing. Now this expression can be used for any project or anything. It's not specific to this one project, but it's a little do data that I, th I think you guys will like. Now the thing is, when you scale this this uh, solid here, um, it's scaling in percentage and not in pixels, and that can be a pain in the butt if you want some accuracy to scale something. Say you want it to be two pixels wide or 15 pixels wide. Um, it'd be nice to actually scale it like that. Well, first I'm going to rename my white solid. So select white solid, hit enter, and I'm going to name it ray because um, ray one because this is going to be like a sun rays. Um, that's what I think. Anyway, uh, so let's select ray again, hit s, so we get our scale. And right now it's set to 80.1 percent in the x and 100 percent by the y. And say we set this to 17, or let's say 20. Now that's 20 percent, but it's not 20 pixels is obviously not 10, 20 pixels. 20 percent of uh, you know 1024 pixels. So the problem is we have to create something, an expression, which will allow us to scale in pixels rather than percent. So in my uh, text document here, I have uh, the thought process that went through it. I went through this uh, expression here. So our scale is right now at 100 percent, and our pixel size is at 1024 by 1024. So basically 100% scale equals 1024 pixels, or 1024 pixels equals 100%. Now say we want to scale something down to 5 pixels. Okay, what percent equals 5, what percent in scale equals 5 pixels? So our equation would be 100% divided by 1024, you would get 0 0.09765625% is equal to one per one pixel, so that's 0 0.09765625 percent in scale is equal to one pixel. So this is the equation we got to use in order to create uh, uh, scaling in pixels rather than in percentage. So let's get back to uh, uh, After Effects. Let's click on um, get our array. Make sure scale is open by hitting us. <clears throat> hit the Alt button and then click on, on the stopwatch next to scale to get our expressions editor. Let's open this up a little bit. Now, some basics here. Uh, scale is an array. It uh, has two values, um, an X and a Y value. Um, and we have to split these up so I can uh, affect only the X value uh, of the scale. So I'm going to create a variable, which, if you don't know, is a... Um, expression which allows you to substitute a very long equation or whatever for a very short abbreviation. And it's, it says it's a container, people say it's a container to hold, you know, objects or whatever, which, which is basically true. So I'm going to use X 
and I'm going to use y as my variables. So x is equal to, you can do this two ways, x is equal to, take your pick whip here, and pick whip the x scale value, and do the same thing for y. And so as you can see here, the x can be substituted for transform scale, blah, blah, blah. While can be yeah, you know, substitute for that. There's another way to do it if you want to type it in. Just type in value, bracket, 0, bracket. And then down here for y, it's value, bracket, 1, bracket. Now in an array, in an array uh, such as scale, um, you'd think the first first value would be number one, second value would be number two. But unfortunately in arrays the values start at zero and up. So your first value, which is x, you look down here, you have zero. So that's the first position. Um, value y is the second value in the array, so it has a second position, which is one. You now if we were to have a z scale, c is the third value, so that value would be two. Okay, so let me finish this off here. Uh, put my semicolons. Never forget the semicolons because that can cause some problems for you. And we're going to combine the x and y values. So bracket x comma y. And this completes our actual expression here. So sometimes this comes up and what all you have to do is just copy the expression and alt click the scale again and just paste Okay, something's wrong here. Oh, that's why I misspelled value. U E. Yes, I'm not known for my great spelling. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to bring this equation here, 100% divided by 1024, into our expression to uh, create our pixel scale. So I'm going to create another variable here. Bring those down. And I need a pixel size scalar thingy. So I'm going to hit PS equals for pixel scale. And I'm going to go down to my null object, select that. Go up here, hit effect control. And in effect control, control hit um, right click. Go down to expression controls, and I want a slider control. And select the slider control name, hit enter, and I'm going to rename it pixel size. And, you know, pixel size for PS and short for PS down here. And what we're going to do is, uh, we're with um, the cursor after the PS, we're going to pick whip the actual slider control. I don't forget our semicolon. And the next thing we're going to do is create another variable. And what am I going to call this? Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, we'll call this TC. I'll tell you why in a second. And I'm going to base um, the actual pixel size on the actual size of the composition. So you can, it's going to be a generalized uh, expression, so you can actually take this expression to any sized comp and it'll work for any size because it'll evaluate the actual size of the composition rather than a set number, say if I punched in 1024, it'll only work for, you know, a 1024 sized composition or whatever. You get what I mean. So the expression for that for an expression to evaluate the size of a composition is this comp with a capital C dot width. Now anytime you use this expression this will evaluate the size of the actual composition. Okay, so the this comp width is substituting for our 1024. So you can see this here. So our equation is now going to look like since our 100% scale is our value in x for our variable, so it'll be value, bracket 0, close bracket, divided by our 1024 is now the, um, the width of the composition, which is a variable of tc, and that's our equation right there. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go back down here, and I'm going to paste that into my x variable. Whoop. Uh, let's just type it in because I screwed up. Okay, divided by TC. All right, and you can see the um, the solid shrunk down. Let me sink, uh, scale in, and this is one pixel in width. 